This learning is Le'ili Nishmas, Broya Bas Hananya, Meseches Kilayim, Parakei, Mishnah Aleph. Kerem Shecharav, a vineyard that was destroyed. So, Im Yesh Be'lelakit, Eser Gefonim, Lebeisah, if there remains 10 vines in every Beisah, which is 50 Amas by 50 Amas, around 78 feet by 78 feet. And in addition, Unatua is Kil Chasan, and you can find among them what we learned is a proper vineyard, a proper kerem, which is when you have two rows of vines, two across from two, two vines across from two vines, and one of the rows has a third vine that's coming out as a tail. So if among the ten vines you can find this as well, so then the halacha is, Hareza Nikra Kerem Dal, this is considered a poor kerem, a poor vineyard, but still it's a vineyard, and a person has to have a distance of four amas in order to plant kilayim. The Mishnah continues, Kerem Shehunatua Irbovyo, a vineyard that was planted in such a way that all the vines are mixed up. They're not planted in straight rows. So the halacha is, Im shalish. If you could have this proper vineyard of two rows of vines, one row has two vines, the other row has two vines across from those two vines, and in addition, a third vine coming out as a tail, so then, hareza karim, then it's considered a vineyard, and a person has to have a distance of four amas before planting kilayim. V'imlav, and if among all of the vines, a person can't find this two across from three, then the Allah is Ene Karim, it's not a vineyard, and a person only has to have a distance of six Tvachim before planting Kalayim. The Mishnah now presents an opinion that argues with this last Allah, Rabbi Meir Eimer. Rabbi Meir says about this vineyard that was planted, Irbuvya, all mixed up, that Hoyel Vuhunira Kesavnis Akromim, since it looks like a vineyard, even though they're not straight rows, but still, since it looks like a vineyard, therefore the Allah is that Hareza Karim, it is a vineyard, and a person cannot plant Kalayim unless they first have a distance of four amas.